All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, as always, thanks for joining us here on this Tuesday morning. Um, I'm obviously working from home today, and I got my kids, and I'm on daddy duty, so we may have some interruptions here. Uh, but uh, obviously some updates. Uh, following the emails I sent yesterday, I emailed all staff and students yesterday prior to the governor's announcement, um, although I think we were all anticipating the extended um, uh, school closures. Um, still extremely disappointing to hear that we are now going to be shut down for at least uh, until May 1st and we'll reevaluate at that time. Um, unfortunately, right now I don't have any additional updates. Um, we are going to meet as a district admin team on Thursday and consider what our plans look like moving forward. Uh, however, for now, we are simply going to stay the course um, and continue the initial proposed plan for this week. Uh, and again, later this week, check emails uh, and Zoom meetings and things such as that uh, for any additional changes or adjustments uh, moving forward. Um, with that, uh, in my proposal this morning, I mentioned, you know, March is kind of coming to an end and obviously April is tomorrow. I assure you and promise you I will not do any April Fool's jokes tomorrow or rumors or uh, stir the pot in any way. Uh, there's just too much information going around to where I don't think that that's appropriate. Uh, however, when all this started back a couple weeks ago, I had encouraged everyone, including myself, to establish a good routine uh, with regards to the adjusted schedules. So now, looking back on the last three weeks uh, and looking ahead at the next 30 days that we are now going to extend the closure, uh, how are you personally evaluating your routine? Um, I will tell you right now that one thing I regret from my March routine of quarantine uh, would be my eating habits. Uh, by no means am I on a diet or pretend to be, but I've been eating absolutely like an idiot here lately. Uh, just grabbing anything I see that looks good, and that's something I definitely want to stop as we continue through this next month um, so that I don't balloon up uh, absolutely massive. As far as an improvement I would like to do uh, for March is I want to start reading more. I did start reading a book yesterday morning that I've been putting off and or carrying around for about a month, and I finally cracked it open yesterday, so I'm excited to dive into that. So with that, um, I'm gonna turn over to you guys in a minute and hear what some of your goals and or uh, adjustments might be to your routines. But first, I want to mention a happy, happy birthday to one of our uh, participants here this morning, Ms. Janovich. Uh, today is her birthday, correct? Yeah, thank you. Happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day and your day of quarantine is, uh, has some form of celebration of a birthday uh, resemblance. Uh, Mr. Caleb Snodgrass, thank you for joining us this morning. It's great to see you. Uh, sorry for the heartbreaking news this week uh, regarding the state, uh, the state wrestling tournament. Uh, but if you don't mind, I'd like to chat with you for a minute. How you doing, buddy? Um, good, coach. Thank you very much. How's, uh, yeah. <clears throat> how's your routine been, been going through March? Um, it's been crazy. I've still been uh, training pretty hard just to try to stay in shape and stuff, uh, even though everything coming out and all the news and stuff. Um, but, you know, just got to stay in shape, so I'm still working out pretty much every day. Awesome. Good for you. And I'm sure you're uh, hitting the books and doing what you got to do with your coursework. Uh, I know you yeah. have CCP classes and, as well. Uh, how do you hope to improve your routine here through the month of April? Um, trying to get up a little bit earlier, eat more breakfast. Uh, I'm still kind of sleeping in a little bit, staying up a little later than I should, but uh, overall, just, just trying to get up a little bit earlier, uh, get a little more time towards schoolwork and stuff in, and then and then just trying to work out every day as much as possible. Awesome, trying to keep man. everything off my mind. Good. Awesome. Good for you. Uh, no doubt you're going to continue to work hard. Hopefully you can at least be up by 940 and 945 and join our morning conversations. We'd love to see you. For sure. For sure. Thank you very much. All right, buddy. Take care. Take care. Okay, let's check in here uh, with the High Camp clan uh, who have been regular attenders here. Uh, I know they're excited at the fact that I don't think golf courses have been closed yet. Um, so I'm sure their uh, routines are going to be uh, somewhat geared toward getting on the golf course perhaps a little bit. But Coach High Camp, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm good. And uh, we're all good here too. Um, doing our best to, to keep that routine. I try to start every morning with an a early morning walk or run. Um, just to get outside and get some fresh air. Uh, I miss my treadmill time with my dad at the gyms in the mornings. But um, in the meantime, um, actually the county offices on, on, Mon on Friday, Friday or Saturday, the county offices of Ohio closed all golf courses. They had been open. 
Then the governor actually came back in and said, no, no, as long as we're practicing the social distancing and, and uh, they prefer that you don't touch the flag stick, which is really the only thing you come in contact with. Golf is now back open. We just happen to be a little wet right now. But uh, yes, that's kind of been our normal a little bit too. And we've also picked up the game of Euchre. So we've got some pretty good games going on in the household. I saw that. I saw that on some form of social media. Good for you guys. Enjoy, and I'm glad to hear the golf courses are remaining open. I wasn't really sure about that update, so thanks for sharing. Thanks. Uh, Mrs. Archer, let's touch base on the Archer clan. How are you guys this morning? Oh, we're, we're good. good. <laughs> Most of us are awake. <laughs> uh, as, a, as a family, obviously, again, two educators there and three kids. I know you guys got your hands full on a daily basis. Um, uh, but I also know you enjoy exercising. What are some things you hope to improve with your routine here through the through the April shutdown? Oh, I don't know. We're kind of a hot mess. Our kids are up till midnight and then sleep till 11. And I don't know. We try and do school. And at 2, we all take a walk. And that burns about 40 minutes. And then, I don't know. We've played a lot of games, Disney Plus. Our backyard's really wet. But I don't know. We're We're not real good with – schedules and routines we just we're kind of on summer mode these days well well good luck with that hopefully yeah. it continues to work out for you uh, and again I know you got a lot going on so good luck with everything and you guys take Thank care you. uh coach Neekamp how are you this morning sir I'm great how are you guys doing we're doing good you flying solo this morning uh, no, we they're running around somewhere. Uh, we busted out the play doh this morning, so who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is Olaf. That's that's impressive. I'm really proud of you, Derek. And I would be super excited to see that. Um, surely, part of your routine here uh, or your goals for April has to involve your uh, good-looking Corona beard. I see there, right? Yeah, if you can call this a beard, I don't really know what it is, but I just haven't done anything with it yet. At least the mustache is coming in. Okay, good. So for your family routine and or personal routine, what do you hope to improve here through the month of April? Uh, it would, well, probably like you said, uh, my eating habits, I would say. Um, and I would like, we, we kind of started working out in the mornings or exercising. So I hope that would continue. Um, and then I would also like to start reading more. I have about uh, two or three books that I'd like to read. I'm friends with Mr. Brott and Mrs. Kenny on Goodreads. Those are my only two friends on that app. So uh, hopefully I can get some more books read too. Awesome, good. I did refer to you this week as a bookworm. Um, so thank you for following up with that and good luck with your readings. Miss Kiran, I think I know what your answer is, but I want to touch base here. I know you've been working on a project for your family with regards to making a quilt, correct? Correct. Making new t-shirt quilts. I have one done and I expect to get another one done today. Awesome. So is, are, you, are you coming close to finishing that goal or is it something that's going to carry forward? I'm, I'm almost done with that goal, so I'll have to have a new one. Okay, well, good luck. Everybody check out Miss Kieran on Instagram. She's been posting some updates uh, with her quilt making, um, and that, turned, that seems to be turning out really, really well. So good for her for that accomplishment uh, and continued progress. Um, with that, folks, it seems that we're almost out of time already. Thanks again for joining us here this morning. Again, I want to say happy birthday to Miss Janovich. Um, Tomorrow will be um, Hump Day Q&A uh, on April 1st as we crack into April, but bring your questions and discussion items. Uh, anything you want to talk about regarding the closure, personal life's uh, interests, uh, random questions, whatever we can discuss tomorrow, tomorrow will be our Hump Day Q&A. Uh, so with that, we're getting ready to start our odd period sections again today here at 10 o'clock. Uh, with first period starting in about four minutes. So thanks again for everybody for joining. Everybody take care and stay safe. Smile. Don't judge me that my daughter is still in her pajamas. There's River. I quit. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>